think of going to music and sound therapy. I have Thomas Vigant with me here from the Nature Arts Centre in Ballatahob in County Cork. Isn't that right? That's right. Now, yeah. firstly, tell me, how does sound therapy work? Well, basically, sound is very, very powerful. It is vibration, and vibration affects especially the fluids very much. So we are made up of 80% of fluids, so that will affect our body quite a lot. Basically, what it is, any, any problem we have is basically a dis-ease. So something is kind of not really at ease. It means the energy is stagnant and it's stuck in the body. So we need to get things moving again. Okay. And that's what we do with sound. Okay. We get things moving and again. And are certain sounds good for certain ailments? Well, uh, you couldn't really say that it's very individual. So you couldn't apply one method to everybody. It's a okay. feedback system. You have to ask the client <laughs> what effect it really has. So like every know? therapy, you'd have, you'd have some consultation and then you'd work on what works for everybody. You'd have an individual consultation it's, with It's always individual and it's very much what the client really needs. That's what I uh, uh, do. It, yeah? It's not really that unusual because if you think what music does for you, you know, rock music does a certain thing to you, classical music affects you in a certain way and everyone is individual, you know, so it's, yeah. because it's the same idea from the same it, ideology. It is. It's exactly the same thing, only it's more detailed and okay. more specific and it's geared towards uh, a problem. Okay. Even with, now sports, in with sports injuries they use uh, ultrasound type of things for it, getting it, to kneecap and getting into oh different, yeah, different same joints. Idea again. Exactly, same that's idea. the same thing like for kind of strained muscles also. This is brilliant for now that. Now what you instruments know? do you use Thomas? What do you use as well, instruments? Uh, mainly I use these uh, instruments and they're... They're bowls Thomas, they're bowls. They're, they're, instruments. they're, they're bowls. They're bowls. They're also bowls. instruments. They're also instruments, you okay. know. So Alan. they're they're bowls. They come from Tibet, okay. and they're singing bowls. And they're called uh, singing bowls because you can create a very long, sustained note out of them. So just let me give you a demonstration of what the sounds are like. Very spiritual sounds, aren't they? They sort of very mind yeah, you of very many. Serene, really. Yeah. yeah. And were you, you were doing that with your mouth, were you making a kind of? Yeah, I changed basically the overtones. That sounds like the you know, in, in in the documentaries I haven't been there, but in Tibet where they they ring the bells for the prayers. Is that the same type of thing where they ring the bells to pray to the? Yeah, it sounds very similar to that. Mm. No, there's a strong vibration. Now, if you. Feel the edge of that now. Oh gee, <laughs> yes. You know, it's very strong vibration. You can feel it. Feel, let Shana feel it. It's cool. Wow. What would you, What would you use that for? Where, like, if I had a, if I was constipated for all the world, right? <laughs> Just to get things moving. It works. Well, well that if, work? if you were constipated, mm -hmm. you know, I first would ask you your lifestyle a little bit mm -hmm. and then eventually I would find a suitable bowl to put actually on your tummy mm -hmm. and then I would ring it and... Man, let's try it. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Are you constipated? No, I'm not actually. I'm quite fine. Oh, but I'm just, just checking. Just to show people this well, is what can be it's, done. It's, it's going to be uh, generally very beneficial anyway, okay. you know, so it's, it's not only for specific use, it's just for... Oh, you're good, thing. you? <laughs> What's it like, Alan? Well, all I can say, these could be big sellers for the girls. That's all I'll say. I tell you, <laughs> there is a lot of vibration going on there. I tell you, it goes right through, right through the the, the, the belly. So I'll just the take this spine. one home. Is yeah. that okay? So and I'll take this one. That's small. exactly the idea. I have a very know. small and Shana, one. Yes, the, the camera one, yeah. lady noticed. Okay, now also you have a drum that's very like a baron. So what would you use that for? Or is, again, is it very individual? Yeah, it is. It's basically a baron. You call these drums generally frame drums. You find them all over the world, really, and they've been used since uh, thousands of years by uh, shamanic uh, societies, really, so you know, like, it's all Christy about Moore, sound. Who, Christy, who plays, how uh, oh, are we getting on, everybody, uh, would he be, as he's playing the borong, would he be getting no, uh, healing he, of any sort? Well, he, he, he does get a little bit of vibration because mm. the Baran playing technique is a brushing and what I do Can is a shamanic a mm. playing yeah. technique okay. that gets a stronger vibration because I actually hit the drum. So just listen to that and feel it as well. Excellent. 
and stuff. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for that. That's ex that's kind of I have to say that I felt that more than I did the other ones. Now I felt that more sort of in my tummy. Put it on your belly. I tell you, you'll feel the balls. Oh, I, I, don't know, I don't know what to do with Alan. I don't know what to do with them. Thank you very much, and thank you for that, Shana. You can. I, you can actually feel. I felt that in my stomach. Yeah, for that one. Yeah. Yeah, the sound is very, very powerful, and the more you expose to the sound, the the more healthy you get, really.